BT corn, BT eggplant, golden rice. Are foods derived from genetically modified crops safe? Hello, Saipals! I am Sir Reina Nadera, your science teacher for today. In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we are going to evaluate the benefits and risks of using GMOs. Furthermore, we will identify the beneficial effects and risks to man of plants and animals that are transgenic organisms or commonly known as genetically modified organisms. In the next few minutes, we will explore science for another AHHHHH moment. Scientists conduct experiments on transferring genes from one organism to another. These experiments fall under genetic engineering. Any organism that has modified or inserted gene or transgene from another species is called transgenic or also known as genetically modified organisms. Take note that GMOs can potentially contribute in solving the world's hunger and malnutrition problems as well as help protect and preserve the environment by reducing harmful chemicals. However, many concerns have been raised especially in the areas of safety testing and food labeling. We must be cautious to avoid the harm it may cause to our health and our environment. Meanwhile, genetic engineering techniques can also be used to produce bigger, more productive livestock. Here are other advantages of using GMOs. Pest-resistant crops. These plants that are resistant to pests no longer need insecticides. Insecticides are expensive and can be harmful to other organisms in the environment. Disease-resistant crops. Producing plants that are genetically disease-resistant would save a lot of money for farmers. Ah! We have two other advantages of using GMOs. GMOs can also be used to produce bigger and more productive livestock. For example, dairy cows can be injected with growth hormones to increase their milk production. Growth hormones is the natural signal that cows use to increase their milk production. The gene containing the instruction for producing growth hormones had been introduced to the bacteria. This bacteria produce growth hormone that can be added as a supplement to a cow's diet. Another advantage of GMOs is applicable in the pandemic situation we face at present relative to the discovery of vaccine for COVID. Mass-produced drugs. Genes that are produced medically important proteins can be inserted into bacteria. Some proteins produced by genetically engineered bacteria dissolve blood clots to produce protein that prevents heart attacks and strokes. Genetically engineered bacteria are also used to produce proteins that prevent high blood pressure and help regulate kidney functions. Vaccines have also been prepared by inserting genes from disease-causing microbes into harmless bacteria. These harmless microbes can be used to stimulate the body to make disease-attacking antibodies. A vaccine against the hepatitis B virus, which causes fatal inflammation of the liver, is also available. 
Scientists are now working to produce a vaccine that will protect people against malaria. Such may lead to produce vaccine in COVID-19. However, many concerns have been raised especially in the areas of safety testing and food labeling. We must be cautious to avoid the harm it may cause to our health and our environment. First, environmental hazard. Many farmers are concerned that some crops which are pesticide resistant may transfer their genes through crossbreeding to weeds, making weeds pest resistant. Second, health risk. Some people may have allergic reaction to drugs or food that are products of GMOs. Third, economy. Marketing GMOs products is costly and most companies involved are concerned that the returns of their investment may take time. Getting patterns for the products has also been a major concern of those in agribusiness. Ah! In this episode of Agham Alam Hub, we evaluated the benefits and risks of using GMOs. Genetically modified organisms have been particularly useful in medicine and agriculture. Scientists explored ways of genetic modifications and introduction of foreign genes to give desirable characteristics of food crops, through which GMOs, scientists have achieved the production of plants that are resistant to pesticides and drought. Fruits and vegetables with improved taste, texture, size, color, and grains with improved protein content. Despite the potential benefits derived from GM foods, there are some who do not support their consumption and production. The concern on the consumption of GM crops can be summarized into three issues. First, they are potentially harmful to another microorganism. In a lab experiment on corn, the falling of the transgenic crop could be harmful to some insects. For example, it was found out that the larvae of monarch butterflies are harmed by the protein and yet they are not pests. This might lead to issues of biodiversity loss for some species. Second, they can elicit resistance. Similar to the existing effect of pesticide and herbicide, agriculturists are also looking into the effect of crop on pests and weeds. The exposure of weeds to GM crops could lead to the growth of herbicide-resistant super weeds, which would require traditional toxic pesticides. Last, they can affect the gene flow. The possibility of introduced genes to pass from the GM crops to nearby wild relatives is also being considered. With the GM crops grown alongside non-GM crops, the possibility of pollen transfer for interbreeding and producing new hybrids is another concern. Again, there are many GMOs in use today. These GMOs are made by inserting in their genetic makeup a piece of DNA or a gene to endow the organism with a new and desirable property. Ah! That's all for today, SciPals! Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. See you again next week for another AM ah moment. Only here in Agam Alam Hub, Palajan SciTech Portal. Bye!